hello to everyone. Since some of our viewers were asking about uh, the status code for estimating the gravity model of trade, I have prepared this quick video for you. If you are interested in the detailed description of the gravity model, please watch the video in the description to this video. Okay, let's start. First, we need to upload the data set to Stata. To do that, we go to File, Import, Excel Spreadsheet, since the data set I'm going to work with is an Excel document. I'll go to Browse and select the necessary file. Press Open. And here it is. Before pressing OK, uh, let's put a tick here, import first row as variables names. When we do that, we let the Stata know that the first row is nothing else but just uh, the variable names. And then we press OK. OK, I have successfully uploaded the data set to Stata. Now I'd like to estimate the equation using single OLA, simple OLS estimator. To do that, I will use the command request or the short version of it, reg, um, no caps, reg. Then uh, I need to specify the dependent variable. Uh, since I'm estimating the gravity model of trade, the dependent variable is obviously the natural logarithm of trade. And in the data set that I'm using, it is called Allen trade. Allen trade. By the way, you can see the names of the variables right here on the right side in the variables window. And if you would like to download the set and practice and use it in the future, you can uh, get the link to the Excel file in the description to this video. Okay, I have specified the dependent variable. Now this is the time to include the independent variables. There is no need to specify the constant because it will be estimated automatically. And let's say that the first independent variable that I'm going to specify is the natural logarithm of, of the products of two nations GDP, or as it is called in the data set that I'm using is LNR GDP prod. LNR GDP prod. Okay, here is the first independent variable, and then the second independent variable that I'm going to include is the natural logarithm of the geographical distance between two nations. And in this data set, it is named as LNDGO. Here is the estimation equation. We don't need to do anything else. Then, so we can just press enter. Now you should see the estimation results in front of you. And we are interested in the second column where the, uh, the values of the coefficients along with their statistics are specified. In the first column, uh, we, uh, you can see the names of the variables. Then in the second column, there are the values of the coefficients followed by their standard errors, t statistics, and p-values. And in the last columns, there are two additional pieces of information, the lower bound and the upper bound of the 95th percentage confidence interval. If you'd like to know the detailed interpretation of the estimated coefficients, please watch the video in the description to this video. Uh, what you see in front of you is a simple gravity model of trade. However, we can make it a bit more complicated by adding extra variables. To do that, I'm going to do the following. So instead of rewriting the equation, what I will do, I will just go to, to the left side of the window in the review part of it. And here I'll press on reg Allen trade and so on and so forth. 
So as you can see, the equation has been automatically copied to the command window, a window, and then I just need to add extra independent variables. And the variable that I'm going to add is EU, which stands for European Union. So this variable uh, literally shows us the effect of being a member of the European Union uh, on trade. We don't need to do anything else, so I just press OK, uh, Enter. And here we have new estimation results. Here is the new, uh, new variable with its a coefficient, standard error, and so on and so forth. As you can see, the coefficient is positive, that, which means that being an EU member has a positive effect on trade. We also know the standard error of the estimated coefficient is t-value, p-value. We can see that the coefficient is statistically significant, and we even know the confidence interval. You can keep on amending the equation the way you want. You can add extra uh, independent variables. You can remove some variables. So I leave it to you as a fun task to do. Thank you for watching this video. Have a wonderful day and goodbye.